dear all uh, we would like to move on the third part of the video on important questions of module 1 in the subject renewable energy sources now i am going to discuss a uh, few important questions based upon uh, the previous year question paper let me share the screen first so as you can observe uh, we are going to discuss the important question in the year of uh, 2019 it's for 2017 scheme students of vtu so no issue whatever the uh, the syllabus are almost similar but uh, let's see what are the probable questions based upon uh, the module 1 uh, in the in, in this in that particular year explain the courses of uh, courses of energy scarcity that's very important already we discussed we have prepared the checklist at least you can write five to seven points now classify the energy sources but that is already discussed renewable and non renewable okay again uh, we can discuss non renewable with the commercial and non commercial uh, segments what are the factors uh, affecting the re energy uh, resource development that's very important question okay that means the total 1b you can observe classify the energy sources uh, then what are the factors affecting energy sources development for plus four okay so now i'm going to discuss about what are the factors affecting uh, energy source development we can pay the attention now you can see the following factors like a fuel substitution energy density power density uh, intermittency geographical energy distribution uh, these are the most important factors which are affecting on the uh, renewable energy source development. You can uh, briefly explain the importance of fuel substitution. Energy density, meaning of energy density. Okay, what is the difference between power density and energy density? You can write. Uh, similarly, intermittency is a fluctuation, seasonal variation, you know, solar and wind energy. Uh, that is uh, facing the major issue of intermittency because uh, the solar uh, radiation that varies time to time also it depends on the weather sometimes there are chances of occurring uh, the partial shading fine uh, another one is geographical energy distribution that varies from place to place it will be different from northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere okay those things you can explain yes that is lot more sufficient for this particular question surely you can score uh, four marks so, so total you will be getting eight marks fine so we have already discussed Indian renewable energy sources, energy scenario. Okay, uh, it carries the weightage of six marks. You have to explain about install capacity as on today. Then you have to explain about the contribution of renewable energy sources as well as non-renewable energy sources. Uh, thereafter, you have to mention about the contribution of e sources. So what about the contribution of uh, hydro, power, small hydro power plant, contribution of solar power plant, contribution of wind power plant, biomass, etc. Fine. So another important question is actually they explain the following terms. Uh, like you can see, uh, there are checklist. Uh, we'll define uh, hour angle, latitude angle, solar azimuth angle, declination angle. This is most important because you may get uh, the questions in the form of theory or numerical example. I have already uh, mentioned in my previous videos as well. Uh, you can see another type of questions. Explain the basic ranking cycle. That comes to second module. That at that, at that time you can explain because in the 2017 scheme syllabus has been a little bit uh, different. Now, another one is explain uh, any six solar thermal application that already we discussed. We have already discussed that particular question and no worries about that. Okay. So, we can go through this particular uh, question. Prepare. These questions are very, very important. It may ask in another forms, but content will be same. Yes. Uh, another one is actually explain the December 2019-2015 scheme. Okay. Explain the causes of uh, you can refer, explain the causes of energy scarcity. That's also very important, causes of energy scarcity. We have already discussed. However, I'm going to show you once again. So what are the various causes of energy uh, scarcity? Increase in population, uh, so uneven distribution of energy sources, uh, increasing energy usage or consumption, lack of technical knowledge or technical know-how, practical skills, how to extract energy from uh, RES, renewable energy sources, natural disasters, waste of energy, infrastructure deterioration, all those things you can explain. I have already discussed in my uh, previous presentations. Kindly go through the previous videos of, of the same series. Similarly, uh, explain the, uh, you can see another type of uh, uh, question. So as we are discussing about uh, 
uh, but uh, 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 the first question we have already completed and now we'll be moving on to another one explain the factors affecting the energy source development okay that's also we discussed so what are the factors affecting the energy source development if you want i will show you the slide uh, ppt once again so you have to follow the following factors fuel substitution energy density power density intermittency just we discussed no issues it's a repeated question only so pay the attention i request you to pay the attention okay fine so now okay so i'm all i'm already mentioned you that uh, the problem associated with the different terminologies like uh, our angle latitude angle uh, solar uh, altitude angle Zeni, uh, Zen, azimuth angle, zenith angle, those uh, terms are 100% percentage, percentage important that can be expected in the forthcoming examination, surely. Uh, then uh, calculate the zenith angle. See, same question we already discussed in the previous uh, type. I have given only the equations. Try to substitute and get the answer. There is a one standard formula. Okay, if you want, I will show you the formula once again. Uh, no worries in that. So, uh, based on the formula, you can easily compute so that formula I'm going to display for your betterment. See, that's very important formula. So yeah, uh, cos theta z is equal to cos phi, cos delta, cos omega, uh, plus sine phi, sine delta. All the terminology I have explained, what is theta z, it is the angle. Finally, you have to take a co cosine inverse, okay. Then uh, phi latitude angle, declination angle, omega, our, our angle, everything I have uh, mentioned here, you have to, so omega to calculate omega there is another formula fine so that you have to find out it's available there in my slide you can check it up once okay so now let me come back to the question paper uh, so consider this uh, the last question write a short notes on the following beam and diffusion radiation solar constant so this is very easy topic only. I have already mentioned the PPT. I will show you that particular slide. Beam and diffusion radiation and the solar constant. So uh, this there is a there is a chance for asking this kind of questions carrying the weightage of six marks. Okay, I would like to share the screen for you. So just a moment. Let me show you the particular content. So you can see this definition define solar constant c the solar energy reaching unit area at outer edge of earth atmosphere exposed perpendicularly to the rays of the sun at the average distance between sun and earth is known as solar constant uh, the value of solar constant is 1.4 kilowatt per meter square this is very important so if i talk about our country in, in india the solar constant that varies from uh, 6 to 8 kilowatt hour per kilo, kilowatt hour per meter square. So this is actually the uh, solar constant. Fine. So solar constant is one of the important parameter. Similarly, you need to go through like uh, radiation spectrum. Okay. In radiation spectrum, what are the major components available? So kindly go through that. Okay. These are the different uh, radiation spectrum. Uh, pause the video and note down. So it may ask in the examination. Fine. Okay. So only this much. So ultimately, uh, we have discussed, we have almost covered all the question paper uh, regarding the module one. So we understood what are the probable, uh, from this syllabus, uh, what are the probable questions uh, which can expect in the forthcoming examination based on module one. I request at least if you go through these questions, definitely will get a confident to crack the examination with a very good score. Yeah. In the module two, let me discuss the question in the forthcoming session. So I would like to extend my thank you for uh, watching my video patiently. Have a happy learning. Have a great day. Thank you.